What's up everybody? Welcome to my space and another haul video because I went crazy at the dollar store. I know a lot of the stuff that I got from the dollar store is going to seem more witchy than it does hippie, but I don't subscribe to those labels. Um, I do do spells, I do do manifestation, I do um, do spirit guide work and things like that, but I really don't, I really don't call myself a witch. Um, there's a lot of candles going on in here. I literally had to pry myself <laughs> from the candle section at the dollar store. I really didn't know they had it like that at the dollar store. So there's going to be a lot of that going on and just some cute little stuff for my altar space. So let's see what I got. Okay, now, so this, I'm going to have to stage the hell out of it because it's plastic and I'm, I'm really particular about the material that I put in my space, but I need shelving <laughs> because of all the crystals and the knickknacks and things that go on in here. Um, I had to put this shelf in here because I'm always sitting right here and I'm meditating and then I'll get on my phone and then I'll lose my phone just sitting here still how do I do that so I put this shelf right here for uh, my heater remote for my phone and for my light remote um, so I need more shelving for crystals and knickknacks and things like this and as you can see I have my fake window out here so that when I'm like visualizing my retirement on the beach um, I have my window right here and what I really would like to do is get a shelf right here like a white shelf that looks like a window seal so I can really put the stink on that visualization you know but I tried to get one but it came out too far and I was all scrunched up in here so I'm trying to find like a little white one that I can put my little knickknacks and little things so that my altar space isn't so cluttered but these are little plastic float floating shelves that I got for a dollar a dollar so I'm going to try these out. They even come with like the little wall supports in there, which is great because this is a, we're in a closet, if you didn't know that. <laughs> so I got some little, I got three more to put in here because as you can see, I got a lot going on. I just be picking up stuff. So. Floating shelves. what else we got we got this little drink see this is why I need shelves because <laughs> where am I gonna put this now where am I gonna put her how cute is that little brown skin angel so uh yeah like <laughs> I need to put my shelves up so she'll go on the altar for right now actually I can't even put her on my altar right yet because um I haven't even smudged her or anything so she's going over here on the side for right now okay so I'm big into spirit animals and uh, my spirit animal is the elephant the llama and the otter and they had so much llama stuff there I got this uh, llama pen it says no drama llama how cute is that that is so cute so um I use particular pens I think I can really put this ink on a manifestation journal with this one because I feel like when you build your own manifestation journals, it really brings out the magic. And I built this one by just dollar store materials. This was like a flag. These are some stickers. This was some um, duct tape. And uh, this was just one of their journals. And I put gratitude stuff in there. And I put stuff that I like to manifest that's just kind of magically <laughs> comes true out of this. So, um... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another one because I'm kind of filling this one up pretty quickly and um, I'm gonna use this one. I think I might glue some crystals, some, get some little crystals and glue it to her just to kind of really put, put that extra little magic on it. So that's my llama pen for a dollar. It's gonna, it's gonna make so much more money than that though. Himalayan sea salt bath. 
for a dollar. I'm gonna keep saying there for a dollar. <laughs> Uh, so because I'm an empath and because I'm a reader, I have to definitely be protecting my energy. So I take um, my uh, self-care Sundays. I'm definitely taking baths and making sure I'm detoxing. And um, I did not know they had these at the dollar store because I was showing us going to Bartels and getting those big, uh, uh, the blue ones. You know what I'm talking about. So uh, salt range, bath salt, 100%. 100%. Let's see what's cracking. Man. Oops. It looks legit to me and I love how it comes in like a little a little moon water jar. <laughs> how cute is that? But I got a, a couple of these. But um, I saw this one first and then I saw this one. Avocado oil. My skin just reacts to avocado oil. So lovely. So, um, Spa Natural Luxury Collection from the dollar store. Moisturizing, calming, and relaxing. So, I don't know which one's going down this Sunday, but, um, yeah, it's, it's going down. It's going down for sure. Um, one more. This one is Activated Charcoal Bath. Pure Epsom salt. Spa Naturals again. I'll probably be using this one first. I'm going to just start hooking stuff over my altar because as you can see how much space I have over here. Okay. And this little thing, I thought it was cute. I'm going to hang it in my, my space somewhere. But I'm really big into affirmations and just kind of hanging things around me that, you know, just remind me of what I'm doing in here and it says let the dreams come true there's a little unicorn on it so it's a, it's a wall sticker I don't know it's gonna go up somewhere in here I don't think I'm gonna take the sticker off and stick it directly to my wall I think I might just cut it out and then hang it up there somehow just so I don't have a, a giant sticker on my wall but it's going up somehow I just thought that was super cute. Just bring some good vibes in here. Okay, so I got this nail polish. No, I'm, I'm not gonna wear this color nail polish. Shout out to the females who can pull this off. I am not one of them. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna take these and these these are um i think you put them like at the bottom of fish tanks yeah glass gems and, yeah glass i'm glad they're glass and not plastic yeah some raggedy stuff but um i'm gonna wash and smudge these and i'm gonna use this with this and i'm gonna make some runes actually i'm gonna make my daughter make some runes because i'm not artistic in that way <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to wash them and smudge them and set my intentions on them. And then she's just going to put all the little symbols on here with this um, nail polish. I hope it works. Um, if it works, then I'll, um, in my Facebook group, I'll, I'll start doing some room readings. So I'm really excited about this haul right here. Because um, for some reason, I'm, of course, I'm mad in, if you can't tell by my channel. <laughs> I'm super into divination and... Um, I just like to find different ways to do it besides tarot and oracle. So I'm really excited about this one right here. Okay, llama, llama spirit animal. Look at this crystal bowl. Look at how cute that is. A little llama crystal ball. I'm either gonna put like some crystals or my pendulum can go in there. Ooh, but I gotta smudge it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I gotta smudge everything before I put it on my altar. I just get I get overly excited. But look at how cute. Cute little llama. Where are you gonna go by the angel? here 
one more llama thing. One more llama thing. This glass. It says, keep being amazing. Llama candle. And it's blue. Blue is my favorite color. Throat chakra color. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to burn it. Probably not. I'm probably going to keep it forever and ever because I am a hoarder. <laughs> But we'll see. I'm, I'm probably not going to burn it. Who am I kidding? I'll probably just kind of keep it in here for that little spirit animal energy. But I'm still going to smudge the shit out of it before it goes anywhere in here. No matter how cute it is, this is my space, right? I don't know who's been touching it. Okay, I lied. One more. <laughs> One more llama thing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to take this and this and i'm going to make a spirit animal-esque manifestation journal that i'm going to draw in the, the um guidance of my spirit animals just to kind of guide me through because this one i'm kind of just doing like a solo solopreneur let's get this <laughs> type thing with this journal and just gratitude 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 i make sure i put a lot of gratitude into this journal but um I cannot, I cannot stress enough how much magic goes into making your own manifestation journals and gratitude journals. I would highly recommend it. So what I do with this journal is I'll write something down and I'll light some candles and I'll meditate on it and I'll take some stickers and I'll put myself in, I'll set the intention, I'll put myself in the place where I'm at, if that makes sense. So if I'm like manifesting a penthouse apartment, I put myself in that penthouse apartment and I just kind of start peeling off stickers and putting um, putting that energy into the manifestation journal. Whereas this one has cute little llama stickers on it and little um affirmations like positive affirmations on it and it has my spirit animal on it so i'm going to manifest the hell out of some shit <laughs> that was my best scenario you guys <laughs> so this uh this llama journal a dollar a dollar and like i said it's it's worth so much more it's worth so much more hippie stickers to go in my manifestation journal, just little hippie heart stickers, just to kind of set that intention and you just take a deep breath, put the intention in the sticker and put it right in. It's that easy. It's that easy. And I'm putting everything on the altar again. Why aren't you guys telling me? I lost my glasses case. And uh, my ride or die spirit animal, elephant glasses case. I'm always losing my glasses case, but since this one has my spirit animal, and it has like a root chakra vibe to it too, which I can dig. I like it. I guess eyeglass case for a dollar. A dollar. Nick Nacks galore, I tell ya. I don't know why I picked this up. I do know why. Um, just the colors, but sunshine, laughter, friends are always welcome. But I don't let anybody in here, so. <laughs> like I literally have a fingerprint lock on my, my space door. So nobody comes in here. But um, I guess you're welcome in my heart and in here through, through, <laughs> through my channel, because, uh, let me let me get my smudge and make sure I smudge you while while you all up in here in my space, right? So um, I don't know. It had a good energy, so and I'm a hoarder, so I just picked it up. It'll bring a nice vibe in here. It's really cute, and it's made out of a good material. It's not plastic gear, anything. One next. Um, 
like I, I burn I burn candles a lot I burn sage a lot I have my sage here I have some Palo Santo that I burn a lot and um, I don't want to set things down directly onto my altar so I get like little um I have this uh, coaster here live laugh love and like I said always just positive affirmation anything that comes in here doesn't have anything negative on it unless it's one of like my tarot decks that kind of have like this uh, uh shadow work type of vibe in it that's the only negative energy that I negative energy that I let in here other than that everything has like some positive saying or meaning on it so this one is grateful because you have to express gratitude daily every day so cute and it's just to kind of like maybe hang up just so I can see it or just to kind of help me out when I want a cauldron so bad and I think this is like a perfect there goes that witchy vibe again <laughs> I think this is a perfect material if I get like a little mini cauldron so I can you know see what that be like this one says do all things with love I totally don't know if this is focusing. <laughs> I hope you can see this. And then we have, today is a good day to have a great day. I like that. That's going up here somewhere as soon as it gets smudged. That's a good one. I like it with the arrows. Today is a good day to have a great day. Naturally absorbent posters. I like that. I like that. Okay, what else we got going on here? More nail polishes. So I'm a card reader and I'm cheap, so I don't go to get my nails done. So I just kind of on that self care Sunday routine, like after the bath, I make sure I kind of do the whole natural hair thing and the nail thing. It's a whole day, you guys. It's a whole day. <laughs> So I got a blue one and a white one. I only got the white one because it came with the blue one. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with the white one. Then I got another baby blue one. And I always have my ring finger as whatever chakra that I'm working on at the moment. So people always wonder why I always have that separate finger. It's because I'm, I'm working on chakra, working on a certain chakra at that time. This is just a purple glittery one because I'm out of purple glitter. <laughs> Illuminating base. Oh, so it's just a base coat then. So that's, that's pretty dope because I'm out of a base coat. Sinful colors, nail enamel. And I'm running out of more space. I'm running out of space. Lip gloss with little plasticky pouches that I'll probably recycle because they're plastic. Um, I don't know, maybe I can use it for something. Look at me, <laughs> trying to figure out how to keep it. I have to stop doing that. What am I going to use this little piece of plastic thing for? I don't keep like little plastic things in here, so. But summer fruits, scented lip gloss because mascara and the lip gloss is my makeup. That's it. <laughs> that's what you get for being a tomboy your whole life this is the result of that is not knowing what to do with your face like don't ask me to do my eyebrows i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that shit summer fruits do you know what's gonna what's gonna happen is i'm gonna do them i'm gonna go get my eyebrows done and the next week you're gonna come back i'm gonna have those little hairs growing in and you're gonna be mad you're gonna be really mad then because <laughs> i am not gonna keep up with that I wouldn't even know how to go about it. Put some tweezers in my hand, something bad's gonna happen. Then I have the blueberry. Let's check it out. Oh, I tossed that one before. Oh, I can reach it. So I can even try it out. So this I'll probably recycle immediately get it out of here for sure 
just because I don't know what it's made out of and what energy is coming out of it, you know? When things are made out of natural material, I'm more inclined to kind of just let it sit in here. can dig it. I can dig it. Summer fruit. It smells like the summertime. It smells like the summertime. All right. Blueberry. Smells a little too sugary. I like the uh, that other one. I forgot the name of it already. <laughs> but I like that other one better. This one uh, smells like blueberry Kool Aid a little bit. Take me back to my childhood. All right, guys. Candles, candles, and candles. Candles, candles, and candles because I'm a reader and an empath. Again, I have to protect myself, so I'm lighting candles all the time just for my own spiritual practice and kind of protect myself in my space. And just because it gets a nice and warm and earthy smell in here, it's really nice. So I got white ginger and amber zin white candle. It's all different. Oh my god. smells lovely. That's getting lit immediately. Immediately. Okay, I'm gonna go from this bag to this bag. Aqua, aqua marine glaze. That is so cute. It has like a little rainbowy hue to it. Cute. I'm definitely going to try to figure out a way to keep this and what I'm going to put it. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to find something else to collect, like a hoarder, to put in here. Just because I need something to put in it. <laughs> Floral scents, they kind of make me nauseous. Golden Citron. And this comes in like a little moon water, like a mini moon water jar. But I already have too many of these damn jars. That one's not very strong. I'm gonna have to see what it's like when it's lit because it's not very strong right now. I couldn't even tell you really what that smells like, but it's white, so it'll protect me. It'll it'll be worth the dollar and more, still. Moonshine dust. I am the lover of the moon. smells like my old house in the Bay Area. <sighs> Driftwood and sage. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Moonshine dust. I'm definitely keeping this jar. I'm going to work some magic with this one right here after I do I'm done burning this one. I don't know, but my mind, I can feel the gears are going in. Some magic is happening with this candle right here. This is a candle that I'll burn just to kind of get the, um, the energy of the affirmation that's on here. It says, brave, be strong, fearless, amber shimmer. Oh, that's really nice and light. Mm, it kind of has 
has like a vanilla scent to it. But again, I'm gonna have to burn it to kind of see because it's not very, it's very, very light. It's not like that. Um, This one is the top one so far. This one right here. Hold on, let me switch hands here. Take another look at this. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Pick that up for a dollar. Well, that's it, you guys. I hope you had a nice time in my space. You're welcome back anytime. As soon as I go nuts in the dollar store again, or I go on Amazon and eBay and start buying up decks or whatever it is that I do. You guys have a wonderful day. It really supports my channel when you hit that like button, so please do that. If you're a subscriber to my channel, I love you and I, I appreciate you. I really do. And if you're not, hit that pink button so you can be notified of my next video. I love you guys. You have a wonderful day. And be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow. Perceive, devote. This is the seed. Light the show. Watch them grow.